Hello and welcome. My name is Dina and this is Crystal Cat Healing. This is the Spring Equinox message for the collective consciousness. And this message found you at this time in your life for a reason. And just so you know, all of my videos are timeless, meaning if you found this months later or week or weeks or years or whatever later that this message found you at this time in your life for a reason and that there is a message for you somewhere in here. So continue walk, watching and trust your own intuition. Uh, I feel like the, there's a lot of energy building with this spring equinox and it definitely represents cycles. And I feel like on a collective level that people are going through a purge right now. Like you've been going through this for the past week or a couple weeks and I literally see like eruptions. So like stomach issues, literally like running to the bathroom. You could be dealing with gas issues as well as uh, skin. So like breaking out with acne or rashes and um, cysts and stuff like that. Uh, your body, your body is literally purging toxicity right now. And on a, like a physical 3d level, this has been, uh, in the, the works for a while through the, the 5d people have been receiving DNA upgrades lately. And that on a physical level, we are feeling this people call them ascension symptoms. And this is your body purging what you cannot bring with you. So if you're feeling certain ways, like if you're trying, like, naturally avoiding food or craving other food trust your instincts trust your intuition here because it's your body telling you you know you need to cut certain things out uh, and again for everyone this is going to be different this could be your mindset this could be the way you think but in order for you to make this shift fully into this rebirth that's going on that you need to rid yourself of these toxic toxic energies these toxicities and that you're naturally going to be drawn to what you need to build up yourself now. So I think I'm going to start now with a Oracle message because this, the spring energy definitely represents rebirth or going flowers. Our days are either getting longer or shorter. There is definitely a shift going on and look at this rest and renewal. So yet yeah, um, this, this purge that's going on is causing you to rest more. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's like uh, sit back and smell the roses, right? <laughs> we have, um, and, and again, we have balance here. So um, I wasn't going to pull two cards, but here they are. <laughs> and again, that represents what the, the sun is going through right now. It's, it's over the equator. Either your nights are going to get longer or your days are going to get longer. For everyone, this is going to be different. There's balance that's coming on here. There's balance that's being restored. And this is what, that shift represents right now. So we're going to get a little more tarot. The three of cups. So yeah, there's going to be like a lot of happy times coming forward, a lot of celebrations. I feel like a lot of people are going to be coming together with friends or making new friends and creating new communities. Look at this three again, three of wands, which is a, uh, I feel like this represents the unknown here. Like you're stepping into this new shift, this new phase, and you really don't know where it's going to bring you yet. One more here. Ooh. Okay, we're going to get two more. <laughs> I have the two of cups. Let's see if I can make room here. And I also have the four of pentacles. I came out with this. So I feel like for everyone, it's either going to be, you're going to get the two of cups or you're going to get the four of pentacles here. Um, this is your unknown. So I feel like a lot of you are definitely coming into like new love, uh, renewals. This could be like someone from the past in your life who comes back forward. And again, we have a, I believe a Mercury retrograde coming up. So a lot of that is mixed in with that two people from your past coming in. Um, I see like an apology here, like for some people, someone did you bad and they just want to like get that off their chest. They want to apologize. That doesn't mean you're going to get back with this person, but um, it could give you closure and that this could set off what comes next. Again, you have to leave your past in the past. You have to leave your toxicity and negativity in the past and everything will balance out. Like we have the balancing, we have karma. So once you leave that in the past, you're, you're done with it. You let it go. Um, that's when the new comes in and that this, what, this is what this energy represents right now this renewal um <laughs> i just noticed renewal that's perfect 
Um, so I feel like a lot of you in this next few weeks may be taking a step back and not going so gung-ho with your projects, but being more in a, of a resting and trusting phase. Because again, you if you're stepping into the unknown, if you have new beginnings coming up, that can be scary. You don't know where that's going to bring you. You don't know what's being you know, going to leave first or who's going to leave or whatever. But trust, sit in that energy. Just sit with it and contemplate and feel it. Feel what it's going to feel like when your dreams come true. Because it's that feeling when you feel it now, the universe balances that out. It brings it in. So again, I, with the four of pentacles, I feel like for some people, um, I feel like somebody has been hiding something from you. Uh, whether it's a secret or a betrayal, but that is going to come to the light now. And again, it was this unknown energy. You didn't know what was there. It was happening behind your back. And again, this renewal that's coming in is going to bring that to the light. You're going to see it. And at that point, you will be able to make a choice whether you want to continue on with this person or do you want to move towards a new friend group or a new person in general. I feel lots of love in this energy. So I feel like definitely there's uh, renewals and loves, meeting soulmates, um, stuff like that. But I also feel like this gives you, you know, when things come to the light, it gives you the opportunity to make a choice. Do I continue with this path? Do I continue with this person? Or am I ready for something new? And the universe is giving you that yes, like you are, you are ready, you're ready to make that choice, you're ready to make that decision. And it is completely up to you because no matter what decision that you make, it is always going to be the right decision. The universe is constantly carving out your next steps, your next path by the way that you're thinking and feeling at this moment. So make sure that you're taking that rest and, and being very mindful of where your mind is at, what you're saying to yourself, what you're projecting out into the world. So you have this clean slate right now. Be mindful of what you're projecting to the universe and know that you have the power to create your next steps. You have the power to set forth your path moving forward. So make sure that you're picking the best for you and what you want. I hope this helps. Take what's for you and leave the rest and enjoy your day. Bye.